articulate this firework constellation of thoughts to unwind the string of last year's twinkle lights, but they overlap and tangle into angry knots of dark green cords and tiny white bulbs, tongues to tangle and go dry as cotton, wadded in a rough cloud, air whips round, oppressive, rubbing like thistle against my eyes, except when I can banish them to sweat and crooked postures for a mind clear and free, like an attic flung open to the gray spring gusts of April, the cruelest of months. Can I account for how I have lived? My attic and all my windows hanging open still when winter came, I wore a crystalline cloak of ice knit by Jack Frost himself with a pair of clicking silver needles in the night, too habituated, it would seem, to my unmoored, life-like dandelion, seed, path, thrown to the wind to learn flight, for Amelia's solo trip, flown round the world, coming down too soon to avoid being swallowed up by the gaping maw of this earth to meet death or birth, respectively or simultaneously. Entropy is as near as will come to the hands of God at work in this iteration of being taking apart and rebuilding, recombining into beings as yet undefined and unfolding into their disparate, destined shapes, predestined even for death and rebirth and rebirth and re-being on the future's earth. There are ice worms that live on Mars. Nothing is ever created, and nothing is ever destroyed. We are traveling molecules, you and I, even at this very moment, reconstituting ourselves relentlessly and indiscriminately, and I think this is what it truly means to be alive, in the sense that rocks and discarded plastic toothbrushes are just as alive as any of us. Plastic is petroleum, surfaced and reformed, that ancestor dust that had nearly reached the nirvana that flows, molten like lava beneath the crust of the Earth's mantle. Nothing. Even that oil that's born of ancient death and time is ever created, and nothing is ever destroyed. But those fossils sank fathoms and fathoms to achieve such depths of rest and pressure, the warm perma-hug of the Earth's tenderly sewn quilt, snug and safe around them if they were spirits in a warm midwinter bed. Like the oil underground, I too am settling. Settling. Settling into my future, breath by breath of new tomorrow air. On the exhale, the past released like bubbles under a pond, rushing to forget their tightly pressured pasts and become one with the sky, free of former constraint, in an instant of total freedom from which they can never return in exactly the same way they first left. Is settling the fear? Sinkholes sinking souls, titanics run aground and aground and aground again and again 
and again. We all need entropy some days. It is ours to claim in the end, for nothing is ever created and nothing is ever destroyed. A ball of lights brimming from a disorderly nest of wires. Fine, just the way it is. <laughs>